It was the best of tags. It was the worst of tags. It was the think twice book tag. Hello. My name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books, reading and stuff. The think twice book tag was created by an odd couple, AJ Dunn at AJ Dunn Reads and Writes and Jolene at the Bookworm Adventure Girl. And without further ado, the prompts. First prompt, a book that features twins. For this I thought immediately of Poisonwood Bible. I know Barbara Kingsolver is a favourite of AJ Dunn. In This is a family from America who go to Congo to convert the natives. Parents and there's four girls. They take four girls. And the second and third girl are twins, Ada and Leah. Number two, Double Talk, a book title with two or twice in the title. And I thought immediately of A Tale of Two Cities on the bookshelves here in Georgia. The book has been marked as The Tale of Two Cities. In Georgian there's no articles, there's no er, uh, an or the, and somebody got the title wrong. The Tale of Two Cities, or A Tale of Two Cities, was my f first Dickens, the first Dickens I read. I read this at school and it put me off Dickens for a long time because it was taught badly. I reread A Tale of Two Cities in 2014 and I enjoyed it. It's not my favourite Dickens but I appreciate it a lot more now than I did when I was at school. Seeing Double, a book with a mirror image or reflection or a shadow on the cover. Staying with Dickens, this is our mutual friend. Here we've got the reflection of St Paul's Cathedral, the dome of St Paul's Cathedral in the river, the River Thames. This book is set around the River Thames. And prompt number four, take two. Two book covers that look similar but by different authors. I'm going to stay with our mutual friend and add Istanbul. No exactly the same, they're not identical, but they're both set on rivers, they've got something floating on the river and they've got these religious buildings on the cover. And for me they were both five star reads. Prompt five. I second that. A retelling. For this I would choose Bridget Jones' Diary, which is a retelling of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice although I'm not sure if Elizabeth Bennet was so bothered about her weight or wanting to quit smoking, but it is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice and it's very funny. Prompt number six, two, complete play that game. A character who plays two roles or has an alter ego. Immediately I thought of The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, Dr. Jekyll being a scientist, and when he takes his potion he becomes the evil Mr. Hyde and because this is set in Scotland it could be an uh, allusion to alcoholism and how alcohol changes someone from mild manner to crazy. Prompt number seven. It takes two, a duology. I'm going right back to my early days of reading and two books by Roald Dahl, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Prompt number seven, a book with two timelines. Uh, recently I finished The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This has two timelines. There's a contemporary timeline set in New York around 2015 or 2017. And there's a past timeline which begins in 17th century France and moves slowly through the decades. Adi LaRue is cursed by a Faustian pact she made to live for forever, to be internally useful, but at a cost that nobody can remember. And it's a fantastic book. Prompt number nine, A Perfect Pair, the last two books you gave five stars to. I just mentioned The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue, that was one. The other one is the Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. This 
another fantastic book. It imagines a real ra railroad in the American South that took uh, slaves and African Americans to the North where they could enjoy freedom. Prompt number 10, two for the show, a book that's been adapted into a film two or more times. Frankenstein, Mary Shelley, has been adapted into many films. There was one called Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, featuring Kenneth Branagh as Dr. Frankenstein, which was really good, but there have been so many through the ages. Boris Karloff played the Frankenstein's monster very well. Prompt number 11, Two's Company, a book with two or more authors or a work of translated fiction. Two or more authors, I'll go with The Talisman. This was by Stephen King and Peter Straub. It was written in the 1980s. It was a fantastic tale about these, this guy crossing America. Uh, introduced me to Peter Straub. I'd already been a fan of Stephen King and I really enjoyed this work. I couldn't tell where one author stopped and the other started. I don't know how they collaborated on it. It was a great read. Prompt number 12, the final prompt, double take. Recommend two books you think would pair well together. Tell us why. I think maybe Beloved and The Underground Railroad. They're both beautifully written and they tell of the American slave experience, the cruelty of the American slave experience from different perspectives. And yeah, these were both five star reads for me. Who do I tag? I'll tag six booktubers. Brittany at Books with Brittany. Amy at Booktube with Amy. Amanda at The Reading and Writing Life. Jeremy Fee. Christy at Books and Jams and Stacy Ellis. There's no compulsion to do this tag just because you've been tagged. And if anybody else wants to do this tag and they haven't been tagged, please feel free to do it. It's a great tag. Uh, AJ Dunn and Jolene have been very creative in this tag. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, uh, you can like, you can subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.